Welcome everyone. This is the Keyport Pivot 2.0 we did in collaboration with Ubico. And I'm going to show you how to assemble it. First thing you want to do is go ahead and unscrew this male pin. And I'm holding the back side the female pin so it doesn't fall out the back. And I'm just going to lay it flat on the table and fold out the chassis. You can remove these black spacers. We might need those later, but most likely you won't need them at all. You're going to need a coin, your YubiKey, and the keys and tools you want to add to your stack. Make sure you keep this silver spring washer at the bottom of the key stack, right where it is. Uh, that's going to be vital for the enter rotation mechanism. I'll explain a little bit further. Now, you can put your YubiKey right at the bottom, but considering the height of your laptop, you might want to put something under it so it slides right into the USB port when it's on the table. I'm going to go ahead and put the Mocha tool right below my YubiKey, and now it goes right into that port. Something to consider here, you, you must have your key stack one key or spacer height above that female pin. See how it's sticking out the top like that? So you can see when I push this down, it's compressing the spring washer and the enter rotation mechanism won't work unless the key stack is at least an eighth inch above that the top of that pin. So in this case, if you only have a couple of keys, you will need to add a couple of these spacers on top or you can stagger them in between but since i have a few more keys to add i can go ahead and just stack them right on top you want the holes in the top of your keys and tools to align with the female pin hole so you can see the threads down there and then just go ahead and rotate the other side of the chassis over so everything is aligned and then grab your male pin and you're just going to fish it down there and align it with the threads and then start to screw it in. And as soon as you get it down as far as you can with your hand, then you can grab your coin and start to rotate it further. I'm holding the backside female pin with my other finger and you can hear it start to snap and if you watch from the top you'll see that spring washer on the bottom of the stack compress every time I turn it and that's activating the anti-rotation mechanism so now my keys aren't just gonna flop around loosely they're held in with quite a lot of tension and you can adjust the tension however you like it so now when I rotate my keys or my Yip key out, it stays in the position that I set it up. Your pivot is compatible with a wide range of faceplates and modules available on mykeyboard.com. We also have a bunch of tool inserts that can be stacked on the inside of your pivot with your Yubi key and other keys. To install a faceplate, you just align the metal arms with the three holes on the side of your chassis. Press down and slide it forward until you hear it click. You can add modules and faceplates to both sides of your chassis. Now to remove modules and faceplates from your pivot, you're going to need to use a small tool like the rush tool is the perfect tool for the job, but you could also use a small screwdriver. All the modules and faceplates have this tiny dimple on the arm here. You can see it through the middle hole in, in the back side of the chassis. So about right there, you can see that tiny dimple and it's the same thing on the faceplate. There's a tiny dimple right there. So rotate all your keys and tools out like this and set it flat on the table. And then you're gonna grab the tool and from the side, you're going to come in and you're going to poke that tiny dimple, press down, and then just pull forward. And then it pops right off. 
So that was a faceplate, and it's the same thing for this pocket flare. I'm just finding that tiny dimple, pushing down, and then pulling forward, and it pops right off. Thank you.